Nehemiah chapter 11. Now the leaders of the people lived in Jerusalem, and the rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of ten to live in the holy city Jerusalem, while nine-tenths remained in the other towns. And the people blessed all those who willingly offered to live in Jerusalem. These are the leaders of the province who lived in Jerusalem, but in the towns of Judah all lived on their property in their towns. Israel, the priests, the Levites, the temple servants, and the descendants of Solomon's servants. And in Jerusalem lived some of the Judahites and of the Benjaminites. Of the Judahites, Athaiah, son of Uzziah, son of Zechariah, son of Amariah, son of Shephatiah, son of Mahalalel, of the descendants of Perez, and Masiah, son of Baruch, son of Kolhoza, son of Hazaiah, son of Adaiah, son of Joarib, son of Zechariah, son of Shalonite, all the descendants of Perez who lived in Jerusalem were 468 valiant warriors. And these are the Benjaminites, Salu, son of Meshalam, son of Joed, son of Pedaiah, son of Kolaiah, son of Masaiah, son of Ithiel, son of Jeshaiah, and his brothers, Gabai, Salai, 928. Joel, son of Zikri, was their overseer, and Judah, son of Hasanua, was second in charge of the city. Of the priests, Jedaiah, son of Joarib, Jachin, Saraiah, son of Hilkiah, son of Meshalam, son of Zadok, son of Meraioth, son of Ahatub, officer of the house of God, and their associates who did the work of the house. 822. And Adaiah, son of Jeroham, son of Peleliah, son of Amzi, son of Zechariah, son of Pashur, son of Melchijah, and his associates. Heads of ancestral houses, 242. And Amishai, son of Azarel, son of Azai, son of Meshilamoth, son of Emmer, and their associates, valiant warriors, 128. Their overseer was Zabdiel, son of Hagadolim. And of the Levites, Shimeiah, son of Hashub, son of Azrakam, son of Hashabiah, son of Buni and Shabbathai, and Josabad, of the leaders of the Levites, who were over the outside work of the house of God, and Mataniah, son of Micah, son of Zabdi, son of Asaph, who was the leader to begin the thanksgiving in prayer, and Bakbukia, the second among his associates, and Abda, son of Shamua, son of Galal, son of Jeduthun. All the Levites in the holy city were 284. The gatekeepers, Akub, Talman, and their associates, who kept watch at the gates, were 172. And the rest of Israel and of the priests and the Levites were in all the towns of Judah, all of them in their inheritance. But the temple servants lived on Ophel, and Ziha and Gishba were over the temple servants. The overseer of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzi, son of Bani, son of Hashabiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micah, of the descendants of Asaph, the singers, in charge of the work of the house of God. For there was a command from the king concerning them, and a settled provision for the singers, as was required every day. And Pethahiah, son of Meshazabel, of the descendants of Zerah, son of Judah, was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. And as for the villages, with their fields, some of the people of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its villages, and in Dibon and its villages, and in Jacobzel and its villages, and in Jeshua and in Molada, and Beth Pellet, in Hazer Shual, in Beersheba and its villages in Ziklag, in Makona, and its villages, in en Rimmon, in Zorah, in Jarmuth, Zenoah, Adullam, and their villages, Lachish, and its fields, and Azekah, and its villages. So they camped from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The people of Benjamin also lived from Geba onward, at Michmash, Asia, 
Bethel and its villages, Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazer, Rama, Gitaim, Hadid, Zeboim, Nabalit, Lod, and Ono, the valley of artisans. And certain divisions of the Levites in Judah were joined to Benjamin. Nehemiah chapter 12. These are the priests and the Levites who came up with Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Sariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Maluk, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehum, Merimoth, Ido, Ginnathoi, Abijah, Majamin, Maadiah, Bilga, Shimeiah, Joarib, Jedaiah, Salu, Amak, Hilkiah, Jedaiah. These were the leaders of the priests and of their associates in the days of Jeshua. And the Levites, Jeshua, Benui, Kadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Mataniah, who with his associates was in charge of the songs of thanksgiving. And Bakbukiah and Uno, their associates, stood opposite them in the service. Jeshua was the father of Joachim, Joachim the father of Eliashib, Eliashib the father of Joyada, Joyada the father of Jonathan, and Jonathan the father of Jadua. In the days of Joachim, the priests, heads of ancestral houses, were of Sarayiah, Mariah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, of Malukai, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Haram, Adna, of Mariaoth, Hilkiah, of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnathon, Meshulam, of Abijah, Zikri, of Miniamin, of Moadiah, Piltai, of Bilga, Shamua, of Shimeiah, Jehonathan, of Joyarib, Mataniai, of Jedaiah, Uzi, of Salai, Kalai, of Amok, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Jedaiah, Nathanael. As for the Levites, in the days of Eliashib, Joyada, Johanan, and Jadua, there were recorded the heads of ancestral houses, also the priests, until the reign of Darius the Persian. The Levites, heads of ancestral houses, were recorded in the book of the Annals until the days of Johanan, son of Eliashib. And the leaders of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, and Jeshua, son of Cadmiel, with their associates over against them, to praise and to give thanks, according to the commandment of David, the man of God, section opposite to section. Mataniah, Bakbukiah, Obadiah, Meshalam, Talman, and Akub were gatekeepers standing guard at the storehouses of the gates. These were in the days of Joachim, son of Jeshua, son of Josadak, and in the days of the governor Nehemiah and of the priest Ezra the scribe. Now at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with rejoicing, with thanksgivings and with singing, with cymbals, harps, and lyres. The companies of the singers gathered together from the circuit around Jerusalem and from the villages of the Netaphathites also from Beth Gilgal, and from the region of Geba and Asmaveth. For the singers had built for themselves villages around Jerusalem, and the priests and the Levites purified themselves, and they purified the people and the gates and the wall. Then I brought the leaders of Judah up onto the wall, and appointed two great companies that gave thanks and went in procession. One went to the right, on the wall to the dung gate, and after them went Hoshaiah, and half the officials of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, Meshalam, Judah, Benjamin, Shimeiah, and Jeremiah, and some of the young priests with trumpets, Zechariah, son of Jonathan, son of Shimeiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micaiah, son of Zachur, son of Asaph, and his kindred, Shimeiah, Azarel, Milalai, Gilalai, Mai. Nathanael, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David, the man of God, and the scribe Ezra went in front of them. 
At the fountain gate, in front of them, they went straight up by the stairs of the city of David, at the ascent of the wall, above the house of David, to the water gate on the east. The other company of those who gave thanks went to the left, and I followed them with half of the people on the wall, above the tower of the ovens, to the broad wall, and above the gate of Ephraim, and by the old gate, and by the fish gate, and the tower of Hananel, and the tower of the hundred, to the sheep gate, and they came to a halt at the gate of the guard. So both companies of those who gave thanks stood in the house of God, and I and half of the officials with me, and the priests Eliakim, Messiah, many a men, Micaiah, Elioni, Zechariah, and Hananiah with trumpets, and Messiah, Shimeiah, Eleazar, Uzi, Jehohanan, Malchijah, Elam, and Ezer, and the singers sang with Jeraziah as their leader. They offered great sacrifices that day and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and children also rejoiced. The joy of Jerusalem was heard far away. On that day, men were appointed over the chambers for the stores, the contributions, the first fruits, and the tithes, to gather into them the portions required by the law for the priests and for the Levites, from the fields belonging to the towns. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and the Levites who ministered. They performed the service of their God and the service of purification, as did the singers and the gatekeepers, according to the command of David and his son Solomon. For in the days of David and Asaph long ago, there was a leader of the singers, and there were songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave the daily portions for the singers and the gatekeepers. They set apart that which was for the Levites, and the Levites set apart that which was for the descendants of Aaron. Nehemiah chapter 13. On that day they read from the book of Moses in the hearing of the people, and in it was found written that no Ammonite or Moabite should ever enter the assembly of God, because they did not meet the Israelites with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them. Yet our God turned the curse into a blessing. When the people heard the law, they separated from Israel all those of foreign descent. Now before this, the priest Eliashib, who was appointed over the chambers of the house of our God, and who was related to Tobiah, prepared for Tobiah a large room where they had previously put the grain offering, the frankincense, the vessels, and the tithes of grain, wine, and oil, which were given by commandment to the Levites, singers, and gatekeepers, and the contributions for the priests. While this was taking place, I was not in Jerusalem, for in the thirty-second year of King Artaxerxes of Babylon I went to the king. After some time I asked leave of the king and returned to Jerusalem. I then discovered the wrong that Eliashib had done on behalf of Tobiah, preparing a room for him in the courts of the house of God. And I was very angry, and I threw all the household furniture of Tobiah out of the room. Then I gave orders, and they cleansed the chambers, and I brought back the vessels of the house of God, with the grain offering and the frankincense. I also found out that the portions of the Levites had not been given to them, so that the Levites and the singers who had conducted the service had gone back to their fields. So I remonstrated with the officials and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their stations. Then all Judah brought the tithe of the grain, wine, and oil into the storehouses. And I appointed as treasurers over the storehouses the priest Shelemiah, the scribe Zadok, and Pedaiah of the Levites and as their assistants, Hanan, son of Zakur, son of Mataniah. For they were considered faithful, and their duty was to distribute to their associates. 
Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this, and do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for his service. In those days I saw in Judah people treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in heaps of grain and loading them on donkeys, and also wine, grapes, figs, and all kinds of burdens, which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I warned them at that time against selling food. Tyrians also, who lived in the city, brought in fish and all kinds of merchandise, and sold them on the Sabbath to the people of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I remonstrated with the nobles of Judah and said to them, What is this evil thing that you are doing, profaning the Sabbath day? Did not your ancestors act in this way, and did not our God bring all this disaster on us and on this city? Yet you bring more wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. When it began to be dark at the gates of Jerusalem before the Sabbath, I commanded that the doors should be shut, and gave orders that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath. And I set some of my servants over the gates, to prevent any burden from being brought in on the Sabbath day. Then the merchants and sellers of all kinds of merchandise spent the night outside Jerusalem once or twice. But I warned them and said to them, Why do you spend the night in front of the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time on, they did not come on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should purify themselves and come and guard the gates to keep the Sabbath day holy. Remember this also in my favor, O my God, and spare me according to the greatness of your steadfast love. In those days also I saw Jews who had married women of Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab, and half of their children spoke the language of Ashdod, and they could not speak the language of Judah, but spoke the language of various peoples. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and beat some of them, and pulled out their hair. And I made them take an oath in the name of God, saying, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, or take their daughters for your sons, or for yourselves. Did not King Solomon of Israel sin on account of such women? Among the many nations there was no king like him, and he was beloved by his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, foreign women made even him to sin. Shall we then listen to you and do all this great evil and act treacherously against our God by marrying foreign women? And one of the sons of Jehoiada, son of the high priest Eliashib, was the son-in-law of Sambalat the Horonite. I chased him away from me. Remember them, O oh my God, because they have defiled the priesthood, the covenant of the priests and the Levites. Thus I cleansed them from everything foreign, and I established the duties of the priests and Levites, each in his work, and I provided for the wood offering at appointed times, and for the first fruits. Remember me, O oh my God, for good.